it. Here's number three from the energy primer. Uh, the question says a typical home in the northern U.S. might require 120 mega BTUs of heat for the average winter. Uh, so question A, uh, if this heat were supplied by a natural gas furnace operating at 60% efficiency, how many cubic feet of gas would need to be purchased? All right, we'll ignore the efficiency issue at, f at first. Basically, we're being told that our house needs 120 mega BTUs for the winter. So how many cubic feet of natural gas are we going to have to purchase? It's a very straightforward conversion. Get rid of mega BTUs by putting them in the denominator. And, and we know the relationship between mega and 1. There's 1 mega, one mega BTU is 10 to the 6 BTUs. And we know how many cubic feet of natural gas produce be, how many BTUs. It's a given. Every one cubic foot of natural gas you have, you will produce 1,030 BTUs of energy. So multiplying, multiplying this out, divide by 1,030, we get to 116,504 cubic feet of natural gas. Um, natural gas usually isn't purchased though in the in the cubic foot. It's purchased in the hundred, that's centi, the hundred cubic foot. Um, so if we have 116,504 cubic feet of natural gas, there's a hundred cubic feet in one CCF. So this is how many hundreds of cubic feet of natural gas we're going to need to purchase. The only problem is though our furnace is only 60 percent efficient. So even though this is how much we need, we actually are, need to purchase more than this because so much is going to be lost to inefficiency. So if we do a simple proportion with percents, if, uh, if 165 uh, CCF is supposed to be the 60% efficient. What's what's going to be X? So just cross multiplying, X comes out to 1,941 CCF. That's how much natural gas we actually have to purchase. We have to purchase this much so that 40% can be lost, and we end up with only having this to, to produce the heat in the house. So now question B then asks how much is this going to cost us if, if we know it's 90 cents per CCF, and by the way it's more expensive than that, uh, what's it going to cost to heat the home? Well it's simple conversion. If we have, if we need to purchase this much and one CCF costs 90 cents, then it's going to cost us $1,746.90 to heat the home for the winter. More if the cost of natural gas is higher. More if our efficiency was even worse. More if we need even more energy. Uh, question C. Uh, using the hot water heating requirements for a bath from question 1C, how many hot baths would this energy supply in one year? Okay. Oh no, sorry, I'm totally reading the wrong question. If a new 80% efficient furnace could be installed at a cost of $4,000, how long would it take to pay back the cost? Alright, that's a great question. It's something people actually really do grapple with very often. If our furnace was 80% efficient, then instead of having to buy 1,941 CCF, we would have only had to buy 1,456 CCF, which would have saved us a lot of money. The question is how much money and how long how long would it have taken? I'm 
here are my numbers. 